The veno valve procedure begins with a 6 to 8 inch incision being made in the upper thigh to access the femoral vein. Clamps are used to restrict the flow of blood through the vein. The surgeon then makes a 2 to 3 centimeter lengthwise incision, called a venotomy, along that portion of the vein. The veno valve is then inserted into the vein through the incision. Next, the stabilization ring of the inflow veno valve frame is tacked to the femoral vein wall and the incision in the vein is closed. Once the clamps are removed, blood flow is restored to the vein. The veno valve opens and closes based upon the flow rates and blood pressures within the femoral vein. When the calf muscle flexes, pressure within the femoral vein increases and blood flows up the leg and through the veno valve. When pressure in the femoral vein decreases, the veno valve leaflet deploys closing the valve and reducing the backwards flow of blood called reflux.